Good morning and welcome to Mormon Times. The holidays are tough for any mother of a full-time missionary, but it's an especially tender time for the mothers of two missionaries who will never come home. Elders Trevor Strong and Derek Walker died a year ago while serving in Texas. And to honor them, a group of missionary moms in Utah came together to create a Christmas tree of eternal ties. Brooke Walker shares the touching story. It was a tragedy in Texas that broke the hearts of missionary moms all over the world. Elders Derek Walker from Fairfield, Idaho, and Trevor Strong from Taylorsville, Utah, were hit and killed while riding their bikes in a small Texas town. And for Kelly Van Sickle, the news hit close to home. My son is actually serving in the Texas McAllen mission at this time. In honor of the two elders who died, Kelly joined forces with other missionary moms to create an entry for this year's Festival of Trees fundraiser, benefiting Primary Children's Medical Center. Both sets of the families have been really excited. I felt a connection to doing the tree for them, and the more and more I learn about them, I am just so grateful that this has all come around. From custom ornaments of ties and bicycles to many books of Mormon, everything on the tree has a tie to missionary work and to the McAllen, Texas Mission. The Christmas tree skirt is actually made up of ties from those elders and other elders serving in that mission. One of the ties that belong to elders Walker and Strong is particularly special. On the back is a handwritten note from their mission president congratulating the elders on meeting a mission goal. I would have loved to have had those two that passed away as my sons. They were just examples and just great young men in every aspect. Elder Strong and Elder Walker were you know, very strong examples of really representatives of Christ. Displayed next to the tree is another treasured keepsake. I have a sweet friend who um, owns a photography studio who wanted to help do this and she, she paints these pictures and we actually didn't have a picture of the two elders together and so we contacted the families and got their favorite picture of their missionary and she was able to put these together and um, fill the spirit as she did it as she painted these two elders together. Along with the tree, the missionary mom solicited donations from retailers of suits, shirts, ties, even a bicycle everything the purchaser would need to send a son on a mission. It's been a very humbling experience. Um, I have been amazed at the many people that have wanted to be a part of this. I feel like I'm a little tiny bit a part of the Texas McAllen mission where I sent my son because I get to do this tree. For these moms, the tree has truly come to represent eternal ties bonds of friendship and expressions of love for their own sons. I'm very grateful and thankful that he chose to serve and that he um, is serving with people, uh, missionaries and uh, mission president wife that are incredible. And two sons who were called home early to their heavenly father. They are eternal missionaries. They died doing what they love doing. I can't imagine a better tribute for mothers to come together to let them know that we love all of these missionaries and appreciate the sacrifice that they and their families make. For Mormon Times, I'm Brooke Walker. The trees help bring people together on all sides of this story. Two of the moms who met during the project say their sons are now companions in Texas. Well,